Welcome back to this episode of the 808 Build. On today's episode, we get some parts. Welcome back, guys. On today's episode, we're starting four hours later than we were meant to, because Shane forgot the SD cards. Standard. So, a few parts have arrived and rocked up. Um, we're gonna open them up and see what there is. I've got an idea of what they might be, but um, we're just gonna double check, make sure we know what we're doing, and then we'll fill you in on what's uh, on the rest of the cards for the episode. Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. All right, should I open your one first? I always wanna go first. Yeah, that is true. Let's open that one. You've got a razor in your hand and you're trying yeah. to pull it. Yeah, it's pretty standard. <laughs> Ooh, an underlay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, got That's a bit of underlay. I've uh, seen there wasn't any in the car already, so. Now let's have a look at the carpet. Yeah, you just, you've just ripped half your underlay off, mate. You probably didn't need to do that. Probably not. <laughs> just pull the carpet out the top. All right, so this is the carpet. We ordered, it should come in two halves. <clears throat> the front and the, and the back, it's already pre-molded. It's got the new... There'll be driver's side front. Pad on there as well. There'll be passenger front, driver's yep. front. And then the, the rear as well. So if you guys are looking for some carpets, especially for old school cars, uh, head to Knox Auto Carpets. Extremely, extremely cheap. Good stuff. You do just have to cut them down a bit and put your um, put your own holes in there. Now, when we install the carpet in the in the car, we'll show you a few tricks to get perfect holes into the carpets. We won't be doing that today. Uh, we're going to try and get the engine running before we do any of the interior stuff, so that we can pull it apart for paint. But um, yeah, Knox Auto Carpets. Definitely get onto their website. I think these were around depending on the plush that you want. So I just got the standard plush pile. Uh, depending on the plush you want, they start from about $165 for that carpet set, plus your underlay. I think it was about $300 all up. So get on their website, pretty much any car you want, and most colors as well. So it's good. It's good. Yeah. We'll put a link in the description. What's in the box? Got the little box of goodies here, mate. Looks like you've already opened that one. Uh, look, I had to have a little finger. I'm not going to say You couldn't help yourself, could you? I did have a little finger in here. Just got a few little bits and pieces to get started. I think we can see it on this camera here. We'll pull them out there for you. So starting with the alternator. So we actually got this from Cool Drive. Uh, it's off a Mazda 929 V6 model. Uh, we may have to do a little bit of modification through here, uh, but it does give me the amperage that I need and also the pulley size. Uh, you can run an RX-8 110 amp if you want. Uh, they will also work as well, but this one was significantly cheaper. So that's why we went with that option. Now, the rest of the stuff we, we got off a guy in Sydney. He's got an eBay store. The eBay store name is Blue Coop. Uh, if you want anything, top guy really helped me out, gave me all the information I needed when I ordered the parts. Uh, so just got a few things. I've uh, got a plug, which we'll need for the Heltec. When we decide to wire in the alternator, there's also a brand new push rod for the clutch slave cylinder, which he supplied us as well. Uh, all brand new stuff, which is awesome. Got a new clutch master cylinder, which will be fitting. We will need to make the line, obviously, that goes from here to, to there, but we wanna get the rest of the engine stuff in so we know where we're gonna route it, how long we have to make the line. New starter motor. Um, these are all available on the eBay store as well, so check it out. We'll put the link in the description. And the best part, or the fun part, the Gilmore Drive pulleys. So the reason we had to get the alternator in first, I've, as you can see, the pulley's a bit loose on the front here. I had to take it off to measure the hole for the alternator. Uh, there are a few different sizes, so it will depend on what size you have as to what set you need. But as I said, your man was very, very helpful. 
uh, gave him a ring, he asked me to measure all the sizing, he asked what water pump I had, all the different information that we needed, and he got it all sorted, comes with all the bolts that we need as well, and also the new Gilmore pulley. So I think we'll try and get these fitted today at least, and, uh, and then we'll go from there and see where we're at, but this was extremely fun. I'm very excited to hear this thing buzzing when we do get it running, so I'm very excited. Radiator, intercooler, oil cooler. That's what that looks like. Unfortunately, no intercooler yet, but the rest of it, you're pretty much on the money. I'll let you unbox this one, mate. You haven't done anything yet. Pretty standard. It's pretty standard, mate. <laughs> it's just how I roll. Yeah. Mate, is this one of those sick jokes where it's a box in a box in a box in a box? <laughs> <laughs> one of the, Ru the Russian dolls. <laughs> That's definitely an oil cooler. Beautiful. More magpies, sir. Yeah, more magpies, mate. So, I was pretty happy. Uh, found this one. GPI. On, online, yeah, from, from GPI. Uh, we're going to test it out. I've never used their products before, so just going to have a crack at it. And uh, we'll see how we go. Hey, mate. What's going on? Special there he guest. Is, the man himself. Oh, Little special guest. Oh, look at this. This is way beyond my capability. <laughs> <laughs> Ours too, mate. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the cable ties? Oh, don't worry. We've got a big box of them in the boot. <laughs> I got What are you running? What clutch is in it? What port is this guy? Bridgie. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Fixed. Yeah. <laughs> Got to get the advertising in. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, is that what I look like? Fuck me. Awesome. All right, I'll get out of here. Legend, bro. John, thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy. Let me know what day you want to do next week. Yeah, we'll do Friday. <laughs> Sorry about the interruption. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody famous YouTuber. All right, um, I forgot what we were doing. All right, so we've got. Fan, thermo fan, convert it over, couple of mounting tabs with the thermo fan. Got a shroud for it as well. Now, you can just put them straight on the radiator, but it is a much cleaner look, and obviously directing the air in through the fan is obviously a lot more beneficial for cooling. It's gonna help keep it a lot cooler. It's not gonna restrict or block it, it's just gonna direct all the air into one place. So, definitely, definitely handy for that. Use some bolts there too. Tell you what, for an eBay radiator, this is well packaged. Yeah. <laughs> well, the reason I went with them, I asked one of the other boys what he used in his V8 Falcon. He said he's used one of these before and he didn't really have any issues with it. So, yeah. So we'll just give it a go and Mate. let everyone know on the channel what they like. And if they're good, we'll. If they're good, we'll yeah. try everything once. Yeah. Maybe not everything. More magpie stuff, eh? More magpie. Shit. Yep. Now, I have been talking to Promaz, and I'm pretty sure they have an intercooler there for me, so hopefully they'll be able to pick that up during the week. But it's a bottom mount, which is exactly what I wanted, so. Yeah, it's beautiful. That'd be cool, but yeah, that's, that looks beautiful. awesome. Stoked to be able to get that fitted in there anyway. It should just, just bolt straight in there.
about wraps up this episode. Uh, as you can see, we've mounted the radiator and we've got the Gilmores on and we've organised and mounted the alternator as well. A couple more things that we've found that we need to organise. We can't really go any further with the oil cooler until we get the inner cooler. Um, then we can measure and check some other stuff out. Anything else that you can think of at this point? I don't know at the moment, it's just time to order some more parts. Uh, I've got a drive-by wire system and uh, then it's start wiring and plumbing some stuff up. So yeah, just looking forward to ordering some more parts, getting some more bits happening. So if you haven't seen the first episode, make sure you do check that out where we run over the car and what we've actually got. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks boys, thank you. So that's it for this episode. Thank you for joining us. The roofers are in making a fucking hell of a noise. They're replacing all the skylights. Hey, boss! Hello? Boss! Can you just give us two minutes? Can you give us five minutes of silence? Just five minutes. I just gotta film this and then I'll let you know. Just five okay, minutes. A couple minutes. Just five stop, minutes. stop work for like five minutes. Thanks. Right.